to implement a national freeze on sale and purchase of handguns. Welcome back to Panzer Guns and Ammo. Boo -boo. What just happened? Pom pom pom. You see my nice handguns? Well, those might be the last one I can ever buy in Canada. All right. So the government, uh, the Canadian government, as uh, this week, has introduced a legislation uh, to implement a national freeze on sale and purchase of handgun as part of the gun control package uh, that would also limit magazine capacity and ban some throwing guns. So what does that mean? So basically what would that, what would that freeze mean is that uh, you can't buy, you can't transfer, you can't import, you can't do anything basically to get any type of handgun here in Canada. So um, the only, the only, and I don't want to say a positive, but the, the only good thing about this thing is that uh, the current owners that have handguns right now would be able to keep their handguns. Um, right, and that's, don't get me wrong, that is not a good news, but at the very least, they're not doing like they did when last, uh, with the last ban there on the assault rifles and where they want to, you know, buy them back. So. At least they, they let us keep our guns and we can still uh, enjoy them. But what, what does that mean though? Does that mean in, what, in one generation, uh, all the uh, handgun sport activities here in Canada is going to be like done? Or, or, or are they going to reclassify some stuff? Won't be able to do any cowboy action shooting or any of that stuff? Uh, in, 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 once the, once the, the generation is done and nobody can own handguns, I guess, I guess that, that's the end of that. Well, fun. So there was a few, um, there was a few uh, exception. Uh, they were saying for uh, uh, competitive shooting, uh, I'm guessing more like uh, Olympic type deal, um, and uh, I think security guards. Mm. Want to know the best? <laughs> Want to know a funny thing? I was reading this article, and it said, and I'm going to read it here. It says authorities do not expect a run on handgun in anticipation of the freeze in part because they are so heavily regulated already, an official said in a briefing. Well, guess what? Not even three days after that was announced, most online stores are out of handgun. So that went. <laughs> of course, everybody's going to stuck up, myself included. I want, like, I like, I like handguns. I have my own YouTube channel. I like, ah, uh, ah, uh, I, ah, uh, I don't know. It's, it's like killing me. There's a few things that come. This is gonna come with this legislation. There's a few things that it's. There's a few thing that's gonna come with this leg, legislation. Whew, that's a mouthful. Uh, so they're talking about uh, also um, banning long, uh, permanently altering uh, a large capacity magazine. I think. So say, um, I'm not exactly sure what the the detail on this, but for an example, right? If I buy their current law right now for a semi-automatic weapon in Canada is that we can't have a magazine uh, more than five, right? So say I buy AK magazine, it's going to be pinned at five. So I don't know if that's good enough or if they're actually talking about something else here, but um, more, more to fall on this one. And the other thing part of that uh, legislation is that uh, they want to they wanna ban uh, toy looking uh, real guns. Uh, so I think there's been a few incidents uh, with the police shooting um people that had like say airsoft that are looking very much alike like uh you know you can't get you can't buy an airsoft that looks exactly like my effect right so i don't know uh, uh, yeah um yeah i don't know you, you you go ahead and comment down below please go let loose let, come on say what you think down there um by, by, by all means. The, uh, I think they want, uh, with this legislation, they want to make getting a, a firearm license a bit harder. They want to limit it to, well, I'm going to read you this. Uh, would prevent anyone subject to a protection order or who has engaged in domestic violence or stalking from obtaining or keeping a firearm license. Um, so there's, there's that too. So there's quite, quite a bit of uh, 
in the past two years, uh, the past few years here um, in Canada, we've 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 been hit hit pretty hard with this uh, government on uh, on gun gun laws, right? So they they ban um, you know fifteen hundred models of assault assault weapon. I mean, just the hunting rifle with plastic, uh, you know, <laughs> with. <laughs> With plastic furniture, if you if you ask me, but oh well. Um, so this and some other uh, and now and now the handgun, right? I mean, they've been talking about it for a while. Uh, they were, but they were talking about like more like you know city, uh, maybe giving some some of the cities or municipality control, like or even province for that matter, control onto uh, what they decide for like you know which area you can have a handgun and this and that. Um, but they decided like out of, out of the blue like that, boom, federally control and you know, no more, no more. So, um, yeah. So anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. If you're not reading, if you haven't been on your phone or opened the news in the, in the past week, cause that's all over. And if you want a handgun, I would hurry up before everybody runs out. So anyways, uh, that was my quick quick update. Uh, if you guys, like I said, feel free to add some comments down there. Tell me how you feel. All right, so this is Spencer Guns and Ammo, and I'm signing out. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Kush.